how amazing our Secretary of State is? Oh my goodness. All right, well, I'm Hillary Levy Friedman. I'm the president of the Rhode Island chapter of the National Organization for Women. And I'm so excited to see so many of you here today. Although I, I know that not everybody has the same idea about today. So when I told my kids that we were coming to the State House, they were very excited and they said, great, how much candy am I gonna get? And what costume should I wear? Because the last time they were here was for Spooky State House. So, sorry kids, there's no candy, Karsten. You wanna wave? You did say that! But we have lots of animal crackers and goldfish. In any case, um, for me personally, I, it's very important that I model for my kids that you need to be an active participant in our democracy for it to work, and that it's also a right to have your voice heard and to uh, be able to peaceably assemble and yes, even to protest. So we've seen in the past few weeks a lot of young people um, showing how amazing um, their voices are and the protest they can do. This is my other son asking me if he can have something to eat. Yes. Um, so, but for Rhode Island now, for many women in Rhode Island, and uh, for anybody that really believes in a transparent and representative government, we felt that it's very important to have this event um, to show that we need childcare at the State House because there are so many women who can't make it at this time of day and don't know what they're gonna do with their kids. And in actuality, like many people wanted to be here and they couldn't do that because they didn't have, this wasn't a regular event. But if we had the structures in place and made it a regular event, it could be that in the future. Um, so I also wanted to say that we chose this day because there's an affordable childcare hearing within the next hour or two downstairs in the House Finance Committee. And uh, it's very important to support this. This is part of our governor's budget that um, has tiered reimbursement rates for childcare, the child care assistance program, and it's tied to quality. And there are reasons I could go on and on about, about why quality child care matters, um, but I probably don't have to tell the people in this room why we should pay child care workers more, why they should be reimbursed more. But I will say, just as a way of putting this in perspective, Rhode Island is one of only nine states that does not do quality child care tiered rates. So it's very important that we do this and that this becomes part of the budget. There's also lots of other bills being heard today, and so if you want to get involved in any of those, we encourage you to do so as well. I'll say in Senate Judiciary, there's a bill um, about eliminating non-disclosure agreements for sexual harassment and sexual assault cases, and so Rhode Island now is supporting that as well. Um, and with regard to the budget, down, budget hearing downstairs, Allison Powell, wave. If anybody wants to go downstairs, she, she's going to talk a little bit, pull the group together, talk about what it means to testify at a budget hearing. Um, and I should say, Allison's part of our Rhode Island Now Legislative Committee, and she's also a candidate for school committee in East Greenwich. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to be quiet now. The children are being so good. I'm going to introduce everybody so we can keep it moving because I know attention spans actually aren't that long. Um, so we will first hear from our amazing and supportive Secretary of State, Nellie Gorbea, who's the mom of three as well. We'll also hear from Representative Regenberg, who has a bill that incorporates childcare at the State House to make the State House more open to everybody. And then lastly, we're going to hear from Bridget Valverde, who is running for State Senate in District 35. And she's the mom to two young boys as well. Um, so thank you so much for being here. And I, I want to mention that we have a cool exhibit about the first female legislator in Rhode Island, Isabel O'Neill. And so Lane Sparkman is gonna do something for the kids right after we're all done talking. So thank you so much. Enjoy the snacks and the childcare. And thank you for being here.